All right, let's talk about how the setup actually works here. When Amy sets this uh, apparatus up, she makes sure that her belt line is north of the edge of the pad, okay? We need for the lumbar spine to be completely free in this environment, okay, and you can relax. If she were to set this, this foot piece back a couple of more inches, do you guys understand how the hip might be trapped here and she might not be able to maintain that nice extension and, and static, uh, static trunk? You guys feel me? Okay, good. Anyway, we set that there, she locks her feet into the machine, and she starts from a, an extended position, uh, similar to like a Superman pose. Okay, she's going to flex at the hip only, come down to the end range of motion of her hamstrings, and she's pretty flexible, and then she'll come back up again, no movement in the trunk whatsoever, this is all static, and she'll reach uh, spinal or uh, hip extension at the top here, okay, and you can relax. Okay, the prime movers there, the glutes and the hamstrings, and they're actually playing the role to move her up into that position. Now, from that position, what are her spinal erectors doing? Supporting. Yeah, supporting, right? What's gravity trying to do to those spinal erectors in that position? Flex them down. Psh, bash on her spinal erectors and trying to break her, because it's all, it's, you know, just like all of you sitting here, gravity's trying to return you to the center of the earth at this moment, right? And that's what's so powerful about the movement, and that's why it plays on her, her midline stability. Uh, do I have to take the person right to full range of motion? No. I have actually had a lot of experiences with this apparatus where people feel really sort of exposed and sort of scared out in out in space here. So the first thing you do, make sure they have a positive contact with the back of the machine and you can extend. A lot of times I look for the, the, uh, the calf to be in contact with this pad. We don't want any space there. Once she's here, I could say, okay, Aim, you know, I just want you to hold that Superman position and now come out of that, come back to the machine. Right, and that might be the way that I introduce her to that. I could always, of course, spot her shoulders underneath and give her, you know, an out so that she doesn't feel so uncomfortable on the, on the device. Right from there, we could work into a partial range of motion. Right, she's just coming back up. Maybe I even cure with my hand. Just come to here. Right, and then once she's comfortable doing that, then I work towards the full range of motion movement. Thank you.